Valentine's Day is around the corner and so Tell Your Tale did not hesitate to make an episode dedicated to Hearts and Hose Day. However, this wasn't the most significant episode to watch, but not the worst. Going forward with these reviews, I don't want to sound grumpy every time, so I will provide positive and negative criticism that I see fit. With that being said, let's begin. This episode starts with Izzy waking up ecstatic, seeing that today is Hearts and Hooves Day. Eager to start the day, she sees Zip and asks to be her valentine. Zip reveals that she's not really into the lovey-dovey holiday. Appalled by this, Izzy goes out to spread the love and friendship throughout Maritime Bay, but this leads to dozens of ponies becoming upset and highly annoyed by her actions. Zip observes Izzy crying and asks what's wrong. She gives some advice and then they walk home. I do like that they're actually using a holiday from G4 for once. Nowadays, most celebrations are primarily based on ethnic traditions and culture. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. However, it's very frustrating that holidays such as Wishy Hoof don't have an in-depth explanation about what they generally do. All Izzy states is that it's a unicorn thing and it's a day of fun, friendship, and frolicking. <laughs> growing. Is it a friendship plant with heart-shaped leaves or flowers that open up and have tiny little boxes of chocolates in them? It's a Venus flytrap. Oh my god. 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 Zip grows Venus flytraps. I was obsessed with Venus flytraps since the third grade. I had a whole book dedicated to them and read it repeatedly. It's interesting to know that they don't just eat flies and that there are different unique types of this plant. They're just so beautiful and cool and <clears throat> anyway, I also like Zip in this episode for some reason. She's becoming more relatable because not only does she have a favorite plant of mine, but she also isn't into Hearts and Hooves Day. It's a Venus flytrap. It eats bugs. <laughs> no! Wrong! Venus flytraps do not eat butterflies or any other insects that pollinate them. Evolutionary speaking, it's important that the flytraps don't eat the bugs that help them reproduce, especially because they have a hard time self-fertilizing. It turns out the seeds have a better chance of growing into a plant if they exchange their pollen among their siblings, so they need insects to transport pollen from flower to flower. Near the end of the episode, Zip's Venus flytrap looks like a sizable growth. Therefore, the larger ones eat insects and arachnids. Arachne? Arachne? Like ants, grasshoppers, beetles, etc. It's one of those episodes where some pony doesn't like what someone else doesn't, so they try to convince them or everyone else weirdly and does not respect their own opinion. Also, Pinky's insanity is superior. I understand that Izzy wanted to be kind and just give Posy flowers, but the issue with that is she used her garden. She also damaged public benches, which Hitch thankfully was there to stop her, but that's still considered vandalism because it wasn't accidental, so why wasn't she completely stopped? This whole thing reminds me of another G4 episode, sadly. Season 2, episode 17. As we all know, the CMC is determined to ship cheerily with the special sun pony, so they reluctantly choose Big Mac. Things get a little risky when they create a love poison instead of a love potion. After settling the entire ordeal, here's the moral that the CMC gave. But we only did it because we thought you and Big Mac would be really happy if you could be each other's very special sun ponies on Hearts and Hooves Day. Our hearts and hooves were in the right place. We appreciate that you care about us and want us to be happy, but... But no matter how good our intentions might have been, we should have never meddled in your relationship. No pony can force two ponies to be together. It's up to every pony to choose that very special sun pony for themselves. 
This is a great message for kids and adults alike because love isn't always for everyone. Even if someone can feel romantic attraction, that individual may have certain preferences or probably doesn't feel any emotional connection with them to fall in love. There are reasons why love and romance can be so arduous and why people need time to consider being in a relationship or just simple dating. Considering that, what is this episode's message. Look, Izzy, love, friendship, these aren't things you can magic up with cards and heart-shaped balloons. It takes time, you know, like a seed. You care for it and nurture it and eventually... Yes! It grows into something amazing! Huh? So you're saying friendships can grow? Like plants? Exactly. And love can blossom? Like a flower? Right! And I've got to say, in all honesty, um... It's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. For the longest time, I always heard similes, such as love is like a garden, and I didn't really understand the logistics of it. To me, love is like a symphony. When one plays, the other follows. No one is the conductor, and we each follow different parts of our own music sheet. Both work together to produce a beautiful sound. If not that, maybe something less preschoolish? Like, I know this is a show for young children but come on the animation seriously looks like it's looping also how fast was this pegasus flying that izzy could barely keep up well i shouldn't say anything because pinky broke the fabric of space time to get to rainbow dash and party of one and she was slower than her. There was a brief glimpse of Misty and Opaline, which was both intriguing and disappointing. Based on her facial expression, Misty looked determined to do what needs to be done accordingly to Opaline's orders. I like the contrast of emotion these two have when looking at the same thing. Misty is happy and grateful while Opaline scoffs and rolls her eyes. Is this a gay cameo? They were shaking hooves, but for what? You know, that would be a better story to follow than this episode. Wait, wasn't that the same guy from this scene just seconds ago? The only difference is the lack of this tie. Speaking of which, why is this pony's cutie mark an alien with a spaceship? And we don't see this guy's cutie mark. Oh my god, is one of these the clone? <laughs> I'm curious as to why ponies don't enjoy hearts and hooves day to the point where everyone is irritable and just arguing. I wish that conflict was explored more, like maybe Zip begins an investigation with Izzy and they join forces to bring every pony together. How did Venus flytraps grow within a few hours? I can understand if Earth Pony magic was involved, but that's not the case because Zip is a pegasus. Plus, seeds take around the same time as regular plants do so it'd be at least two months to germinate. On top of that, it takes two to four years just to reach average maturity and that's only four to five inches tall. <sighs> I wish I could like tell your tale more but the episodes just irk me these days. Again, it's not the worst one I've seen but they're not even trying to create something good anymore. Especially when it comes down to Izzy's character, I really don't understand why they're just making her this way at this point. Hitalia did more in their five minute span than this. I really can't comprehend what's going on anymore.